Hi there. Welcome to another edition of Sharing Stories. My name is Ed Doherty and I'm your host. Sharing Stories, as you might well know, is a very simple program where we invite guests in from Medfield to tell us a little bit about themselves. And over the past years, it's been very interesting. We've had some very interesting guests and today is no exception. You know, one of the things about Medfield is it has a lot of tie-ins and one of them is music. And music and Medfield go back a long time. They go back to the days of Lowell Mason, the very beginnings of Medfield. And more recently, to people like Bob Hersey, who, the late Bob Hersey, who retired from the Medfield school system after many years as the director of the bands and the director of music, and who recently had the gymnasium, the auditorium at the high school, named in his honor. Certainly a wonderful man. But Lowell Mason and Bob Hersey aren't the only people that Medfield has that are so tied in with music. And my guest today is another very closely music musician, very closely tied in musician. But somebody you might not know, because most of his career has been outside of Medfield. But let's find out about him. Welcome with me, my guest today, Paul Alberta. Hi. Paul, glad to have you with us. I'm delighted to be here. Very good. And I guess you knew Bob Percy. I, I knew Bob. You know, all of my, uh, Dari and I, my wife Dari and I ha have uh, six children. Right. And they all participated in the music program when they went to Medfield High School. And, and a, a couple of my, uh, uh, my uh, children uh, were in his course. So right. I know about Bob and, and, well, and you, the wonderful things that he did. He, and, he and, really did. And, and you have lived in Medfield for what, like 20 years, 30 years? 37 years. 37 years. Yeah. So you brought up your family in Medfield. I, we certainly did. Right. Yeah. But uh, I know you've had a, a long career in music, and, and that's one of the reasons we wanted to talk to you today and share your story with everybody. Right. And, and to kind of jump ahead of myself a little bit, I understand that one of the things that you're involved in now that you've kind of retired is judging uh, musical auditions and concerts, etc. And part of that requires prepare a bibliography, uh, which kind of talks about your credentials. And I happen to have a copy of the one that they're using, you're judging of the, of the uh, various concerts. And I want to kind of use that as a guideline as to some of the things our guest has accomplished. And believe me, uh, it's quite a list. Let me begin, and, and I'll jump around a little bit. Uh, he's the retired director of fine arts at the Norwood Public Schools, and that's, that's uh, what your most recent position was. And you were there for 39 years, and you had marching bands, concert bands, and jazz, jazz ensembles, and they all received acclaim at international, national, regional, state, and district levels. So you had a lot going on there, oh, just boy. in that segment alone. <laughs> He's been a guest soloist with the Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra. He's a former adjunct faculty member of the New England Conservatory of Music. He's the recipient of the Mass Instrumental and Choral Choral, con Choral, Choral Conductors, Conductors, yeah. Conductor of the Year Award and the Mass Hall of Fame Award. He's a member of the International Association of Jazz Ed Educators and has been uh, awarded their Lifetime Achievement Award. He's received the Distinguished Service Award from the Mass Music Educators Association. He's a Lowell Mason Award recipient right here in Medfield. Right, right. An MAC Award recipient, the Mass Alliance for Arts Outstanding Teacher Award recipient, three-time recipient of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts State Official Seal of Proclamation for Outstanding Musical Achievements. He's received the Lions Club prestigious Melvin Jones Progressive Award, He's been the musical director of the Mass Lions Club All-State Band from 1986 till currently, I believe. Yeah, right. uh, he's received the Boston Conservatory Distinguished Alumnus Award. And this next uh, this accomplishment is I understand that the Mass Instrumental and Choral Conductors Association has developed a scholarship uh, in your name. Yes, sir. But that's not the only scholarship. Isn't there another scholarship? There is. Uh, when, when I retired, the Norwood Parents Music Association okay. uh, named uh, all their scholarships, uh, in fact, uh, after me. So that was... So that there'll was, be some students carrying out music thanks to your scholarships. Yeah, exactly. That's, yeah. that's, and we'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, let me see now. 
In, the t in 2004, we, uh, 2004, you were appointed to the Board of Overseers at the Boston Conservatory. Right. That's got to be a tremendous honor. He's been invited to conduct the 2011 All-Star Eastern United States Jazz Ensemble. That had to be a great, great That's time. Right. He's appointed to the Lowell Mason Foundation Board of Directors right here in Medfield. And is the, he is the chief judge of the Massachusetts Association for Jazz Education. I love jazz. And he's in demand, as you might expect, as a national guest conductor, adjudicator, and clinician. Wow. You've been busy. It, it's, You've had it's, a very it's, busy it's, career. <laughs> it's certainly been a long time. <laughs> right, I guess so. But let's, let's, uh, let's take a few minutes, Paul, and go back to the beginning, because you weren't always born and lived in, in uh, Medfield. You're originally from Pennsylvania, is that? A, pit, a, a small coal mining community uh, outside of uh, Pittsburgh. Okay. Yeah. And you were raised and brought up there? Uh, I, I was. That's, that's where all the music uh, stuff started. All the, really? From your parents or just from uh, school? Well, uh, at, at a very young age, much yeah. like they do today, uh, I began the study of the, clar of the clarinet. Now, right. uh, the background of that is my grandfather, who came over here from Italy, right. uh, he played clarinet in, in the old Italian bands. And... Uh, he was very influential in, in, right. in uh, me starting to, to play the clarinet, you know. So that, that's really how I, I got into that part, of, that part of my musical career. Yeah. You know, who would have ever thought your grandfather with a clarinet would have led to all these things that I've just rattled off here, you know? It's just... Absolutely. I was, uh, he was a, quite, a, quite a gentleman. Yeah, he'd be so proud of you today, wouldn't he? I certainly hope so. <laughs> And uh, I guess one of, the, one of the many turning points of your career was entering the Boston Conservatory of Music. Yeah. What, I, is that, that brought you to Boston, apparently. Well, it's a funny story. When I was back in, in Pennsylvania, uh, the uh, part of this musical experience that led to the Boston Conservatory right. uh, was that, you know, I was in the Pittsburgh Youth Symphony for five years, the Pittsburgh Junior Symphony, and I soloed with the Pittsburgh Symphony twice. And you so my yeah. teacher back in, in, in Pittsburgh wanted me to come up here to study with the first clarinet player, the Boston Symphony Orchestra. Right. Uh, they came over from Italy pretty much together. Right. So that's how I ended up coming to Boston and, and going now, to the Boston <clears throat> Conservatory. You, you, uh, you, Boston, I guess even to this day, is still considered like one of the primary spots for, for for learning music and at Boston, I, to, to use an expression, is a hotbed uh, to me for for not only education but there are some wonderful uh, music schools where where young students can uh, can major in music in so many right. different ways. The Women Conservatory, Boston Conservatory, Berkeley, uh, and, and and that's in concert band Berkeley. Right. Uh, I've had many, many students attend Berkeley. He certainly has a wonderful right. reputation uh, for students who uh, want to prepare uh, for the jazz world. So right. it, the opportunities are immense here in right. Boston. And that's what brought you here. It, that's exactly what brought me here. And it paid here. off for you, too. It, well, you know, you I... never I, left. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I got to the conservatory, and I... My ambition was to perform in a symphony orchestra. Right. And uh, my I ambition was to play for the Red Sox. But there you go. <laughs> well, the, what what happened was that uh, I, I got into education. I met my wife uh, Dari. We got married, and I got into education uh, because you know, as a young as a young uh, uh, person who got married, yes. you have to have an income. Absolutely. So. Yeah. Uh, I got into education, and I just it it, it I just was excited about that it. was at Norwood. Is that where you first got into and, education? And my first position and last position yeah. w was at Norwood. Yeah, that, that's fantastic. And you were there close to fifty years. I mean. I'm still there. Oh, you still uh, really? Well, no, I, I've retired. I actually retired in in 2002, mm -hmm. but I, I still stay. I do clinics for their performing groups, and I also private teach there as, as well on you know, Thursday right. nights. So. You know, with, with all of those years at Norwood and, and the, which, which has a fantastic musical reputation, there are programs too, and that's certainly all due to your Thank efforts. You. But you must have had some great students 
that come to mind or even experiences other than what we've with listed that come to mind in those, all those years at Norwood High School because they, you guys accomplished so much over there. We, I, I was very fortunate. We, we had a, a, a lot of, of students in our program. You know, we, we had a 230-piece marching band. Uh, we had a, a very good concert band program. Our jazz program uh, was, was world-renowned. It won yes. a couple of national yeah. championships. But uh, uh, the students that got an opportunity to, perf uh, to perform and participate in these groups uh, uh, were certainly motivated by uh, the, the excellence that we brought to, to the performance. Uh, I know one of the, the jazz students, uh, uh, Christopher Holliday, and his brother Richard Holliday were, were fantastic jazz musicians. Uh, 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 Brian Alty. I mean, I, I hate to name, uh, I know name it because there were so many of them. <laughs> right. But uh, uh, Christopher Holliday, for instance, uh, his CD was, was uh, rated a three and a half out of four with Downbeat Magazine, wow. which, which, yeah. is, uh, which is the Bible for... Uh, for jazz education, yeah. but uh, or jazz performance rather, uh, the others uh, we've had uh, students that have participated in the President's Own Marine Band, which right. is to me is the finest band in the in the world. Uh, we we have uh, a, a, a young man who uh, actually uh, made the. The New York Philharmonic Orchestra, wow. uh, and and he, he you can't get any better than that. Really, you know, he really. was assistant yeah. principal there, and uh, then he had to because of family health and all that. You don't leave New York once you're in that orchestra, right. but but because of uh, of family health issues, he uh, had to move to Cleveland, and yeah. he auditioned and made assistant principal there. Wow. Uh, since those family. Uh, uh, Health issues have have, have left him. Uh, he wanted to be principal, uh, right. principal trumpet, and, and he auditioned for the Cincinnati Orchestra, and that's where he is now. He's performing as principal trumpet in the Cincinnati Orchestra and teaching in, in many college situations. I know they fly him; they still fly him down to Rice University, right, right. like once every other week or once every month to, to teach down there. He's actually a, you must have several students that have gone on to be teachers. Huh? Oh. Hundreds, hundreds Li literally, right. yeah, okay. literally hundreds of, of, of students uh, who are either currently or you know, as you get older, they retire as well. <laughs> but uh, there, there are there are plenty of them that are out there, very successful, very successful music right. teachers, and I'm very proud of them. We also mentioned, I, I also must uh, mention to you that uh, uh, that we, I had a student that was the first woman president of the Boston Local. Oh, right. Boston Musicians Local. Was so, she from Norwood? Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, again, there was, there, and there's been so A many more. A lot to more. be proud of, really. Uh, yeah. You know. and, and those who didn't, uh, uh, didn't choose music uh, uh, as a vocation, uh, there are loads of students who just choose mu uh, chose music and still participate in music. Right. Uh, for enjoyment purposes, and and, an and and developed an appreciation for music. That oh, they certainly have. Yeah, that's terrific. You know, we were talking about um, the many things that have gone on at at Norwood, and you're an icon, from what I understand, over at Norwood, certainly in their musical program. But I do understand that uh, there's also plans to name the a, a part of the j new auditorium after you, the Fine Arts Auditorium. Is that the Performing Arts Center? Performing yeah. Arts. Yeah, uh, you know. That's that's going to be done, isn't it? That's, that's in the going plans. To, they're going to have a gala concert on uh, November second, Friday night, right. November second, at seven o'clock. And this gala concert uh, is going to include performing groups from the high school, right. maybe one or two middle school groups. But uh, uh, they also have alumni coming back and performing. That's going to be a tremendous. Thing. And I can't wait. I don't know who they have coming, but. Uh, right. I'm looking forward to it. That's, by the way, Ed, that's, that's probably the single most prestigious honor that I've received yeah. in, in my professional life. Yeah. That, I can't tell you, and, and the new auditorium is absolutely uh, gorgeous. Well, that's... And uh, the, the fine arts wing is, is beautiful. And, you know, and, and the wonderful thing is, Paul, that the, God willing, you're going to be there to 
to enjoy this thing and to take some pride in into all of your accomplishments over I, the years I, and I share, plan them, on it. <laughs> share them with all these students uh, yeah. and some alumni as well that are coming back. You know, yeah. it, sh I, it should I, be a fantastic evening. Yeah, I, I, I been, I've been contacted by many of the alumni when they found out about this, <laughs> and, right? and uh, a lot of them are uh, planning on being there. So uh, I can't wait to see them. And, and uh, like I say, it, it's 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 very very meaningful for me to receive I'm, that award. I'm sure, it would my God. Well, now that you're kind of retired, not, not totally retired from teaching music at, at Norwood, what are some of the activities you're, that you're able to pursue now? Or, well, I, I know you're very busy with judging and... and yeah. I, are you teaching? Yeah. The, uh, I, I, told, I said to my wife, I said, you know, I, I, I would like to, 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 to stay in music education. Right. And I said, I remember uh, back before I became so busy as an administrator and, a, and a, uh, an ensemble teacher in Norwood, uh, when I used to teach privately. Right. And I enjoyed that immensely. You know, you, you, you bring a young student along as a, as a performer, and I, find that, I found that to be very, very gratifying. Right. So it, it started out to be I only wanted, wanted to teach about two hours, a couple afternoons a week. And, and, and it's evolved into uh, uh, Mondays I uh, teach in Stoughton, uh, Tuesdays I teach here in Medfield. Oh, do you? Yes. Oh, very good. I have a wonderful group of students here in Medfield. Wednesday I teach at King Philip Regional High yes. School. Yeah. And uh, I never wanted to do this, but Thursday I, I'm, I go back to Norwood and I teach in Norwood. <laughs> right. So the, the so private... you're on the circuit again. Yes. You're it, not it, retired it, at all. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> but it, that, that's wonderful. I, I, the students who... Who I have is uh, privately for, for private lessons are absolutely not only wonderful musicians, but they're wonderful people. They mm -hmm. they are they're the best the best students in in, in the schools I, right. I find. Right. So th that part of it has been very exciting for me. You know, uh, when they audition for district or all state right. groups and right. they have some degree of success at that. Uh, I, I just, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm delighted with that. Well, you know, since we're a Medfield program, let me just ask you about, let, suppose somebody is watching and they have a, a son or a daughter that they think is particularly accomplished in music and they would like them to take this one step further to have additional teaching. Is that something they would contact with through you or through the school or how, or how would you? All the students who are in all the performing groups. Right. Uh, for instance, Ryan Dexter teaches at the middle school and right. Doug Olson, of course, is the director yes. of music. Yeah. And so the students uh, have an opportunity to go through them. Right. And uh, they have a list of private teachers, Doug, Doug Olson does. And, uh, I see. And yeah. so uh, he connects the student with the teacher. Right. And that's, that's how they have an opportunity to perform. I even had, uh, uh, a, a few years ago, uh, some adults who came in and said, you yeah. know, Mr. Alberta, I've had a love for music. I've either right. played music or I've wanted to play music all these years. Is it possible to, for, for, for me to study yeah. privately? And I think that's more, I think that's wonderful. That's, I, I, well, you do live right here in Mayfield. What, what, uh, what do you live on? Not on South Street, on, uh, on I live right on Route 27. On, on 27, that's right too. Yeah. Uh, and so, Let's say let's say somebody had a student that say Montrose. Do you get involved? Do you get involved with Montrose Academy here in Medfield? I Rome? haven't. I yeah. haven't to this point. But did, I don't even know. Do they have a musical program? I, I that I don't know either. I don't know. Uh, okay. I, uh, I I do know that be, because of health reasons and time, uh, you know, I don't have that m much time. I I used to teach about six and a half to seven hours <laughs> per night. <laughs> And, and I, uh, I have to cut that back to about four hours, and, and right. already all of those four hours have been used and all have been scheduled for I'm in sure. all the schools. But they have plenty of other music teachers, you know, in, in, right. especially in Medfield, who are very, very competent private teachers. Right. Uh, and speaking of Medfield, uh, you're also contributing in Medfield. You're, you're involved with the uh, Lowell Mason? Uh, Foundation? I was. I was named to the board of directors, uh, I believe it was over a year ago. Right. And, and I recently had some health, uh, health issues. I understand. And so I have but not But you're been, looking good. You're coming back. Huh? I, it, 
<laughs> this old guy's coming back. <laughs> but uh, I, I haven't been able to do the things that I want to do with them, and I hope that I can start this fall back in with the Lowell Mason people and 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 help them. I got to tell you, I, I since I've been I I've been on the board of directors. I can't tell you how impressed I am with the people from Medfield who are on that uh, on the uh, on that board. Yeah, since they good are people. First of all, they're extremely dedicated. Yes, absolutely. Uh, they, their fundraising activities, the creativity that they show in their fundraising activities, uh, you know, having that house moved, I think, from major, Adams Street to, to where it is, was a huge project, <laughs> but it was a very expensive one. Right. And, and they, uh, they raised the money for that, and they continue yes. to raise money. They're, they're trying to, to get the house now to be solid from the outside, the roof, right. the, the windows, the doors, and all yeah. that. And then they want to uh, want to open the inside for recital uh, presentations. You know, they have wonderful plans. I can't say enough about that. Those that's going to be a treasure in Medfield. I think, think so. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, Lowell Mason, the first music educator in the in the in the country. Really? So you can certainly identify with him very well. Oh, yeah. You know. And having him. From start Medfield. that in Medfield. Of is, all things, it, right? it was wonderful. It, yeah. Wonderful. Well, uh, Paul, it's fascinating some of the things you've told us and talked about your musical career. It, it has to be so rewarding. And uh, music is something that never grows old. You can always appreciate it, no matter how old you get. You can, I can appreciate music, and I never taught music. But, but you have that extra incentive, you know, with the, with the younger children to keep them going and, yeah. and, and to share your experiences with them. Now, well, we all know the experiences they they get here at Medfield, and yeah. maybe we can get into what uh, how Medfield evolved into this, this yes. outstanding music program that it is now. But so the, it's there for those for the kids in school. Right. But one of the uh, one of the, uh, the the most exciting things that I did in Norwood, and they're doing in other communities, was I started a community band. Uh, right. And this was this is for not only students in the school system, yeah. but adults. And Makes sense. Yeah. Those they did they don't have an opportunity to perform uh, these yeah. uh, these adults. Where are they going to perform? You know. Uh, so when we started this community band, we had people all ages. Oh, I would think. Oh, and they loved it. They faithfully showed up every rehearsal. We would perform at various communities in the summer. Sure. Uh, the Fourth of July in Norwood was fabulous. It right. was you know, at, they have a phenomenal parade in they Norwood. They do. And after the parade, uh, we performed it in the center of Norwood. The, the, the community band performed, and we had about sixty or seventy in the band, which is right. huge for a community band. Uh, and it was just loaded with people, the audience, you know. And that kind of experience is so needed in today's society for, for, the, for, the, for the older people who want to yeah. perform. So well, that, you must have had high school seniors and Norwood seniors it, we in had the same perf band. Performing together, which, right. which was even better. Right. <laughs> so yeah. that, that was a great experience uh, for us. Now, t tell, tell us a little bit about... Uh, the Medfield program. I know your your, your children were, were both involved in it, or all of them have been involved in the Medfield music program. Right. Can you? Uh, yeah, I I go back many years. In, right. In, in, in the uh, the three gentlemen that that that, that I remember are, are our own children studying with and, and having a wonderful musical experience was uh, Bob Hersey. Yes. Uh, doing mostly the chorus. Yeah. Doug Godfrey did, did uh, the, right. did the yes. band. Doug Godfrey was a wonderful gentleman. Absolutely. Uh, and Johnny Clay, yes. and, who did the jazz program. Yes. So, yes. I mean, <laughs> Bring back you some can't nice get memories. three better guys than that. Right. They're, they're just so wonderful true. people. And, and they provided uh, our, our, my own kids with, with, a, with a really memorable right. uh, musical experience. My daughter, in fact, one... Uh, one of my daughters, uh, uh, Debbie, uh, was the student director oh. 
of the of the high school marching band. So, they yeah. in one way or another they were they were all participants in the in the music program in Medfield, and and that's under the, the those three gentlemen the, the right. two leads of those three gentlemen. Uh, but you know I was in I was fortunate enough to be involved in uh, a group of uh, with a group of parents that that. That, that wanted to take, after these guys basically retired, they wanted to take uh, the Medfield Music Program uh, a step further in, yeah. in, in, in musical excellence. So they, they called me, and uh, one of the people involved was Mark Wilson. He was on yes. the school committee here yes. for many years, and he's a former student in Norwood. He wasn't in the band, <laughs> okay. but he appreciated what music right. does. He had first-hand exposure to yeah, it. Yeah, he, he appreciated yeah. what music uh, uh, does for the for the younger students. Yeah. And he, he called me along with a group of parents and we had a meeting and they they said, uh, what do you think would work for Medfield? How, what should we, what should we do? How should we go about it? So uh, I, I presented them with a, a plan that would eventually get them to be where they are now and even right. further. Uh, and, and it included uh, teachers at the elementary level, which is right. where it all begins, uh, and a full-time teacher at the middle school. And then what they didn't have at, at that time is an official director of music. Bob right. Hersey was act, acting right. in, in yeah. doing that job, but he never got the title officially. Yeah. So you have to have someone uh, that's the head of the program, the director right. of music, who is responsible for everything in the program, yes. including teacher performances and right. all that. So uh, w when I presented this plan to them, they, they seemed to like it very much. Yeah. And they asked me if I would go to the then superintendent of schools, which was Tom Reese. I yes. don't know if you remember Tom. I do Tom. remember Tom Reese, yes. Uh, and, uh, and I knew Tom from his days in Walpole. He right. was the high school principal, I believe, in yes. Walpole. Well, Tom Reese was here, and we met, uh, and he was very much in favor of, of moving on this plan. Right. So he asked me if I would uh, uh, mind uh, going to a school committee meeting. Yeah. And Mark Wilson also thought it was, it was a great idea. The Medfield School Committee. Yeah, Medfield yes. School Committee. Yeah, so uh, I met with the Medfield School Committee, and, and I presented uh, this plan to, uh, to them. Right. And they were extremely cooperative. They were yes. wonderful, in fact. Uh, and they went along with, 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 right. with this plan. And then it was time to implement the plan. Yes. So they, they asked me who, who I thought would, could handle the director of music uh, position, which also Very included... Very responsible position. It, well, he, he was the guy that was going to make it happen. Yeah. And, right and, uh, and also be the high school band director right. uh, of, the, of the marching band, concert band, and jazz ensemble. Uh, so I, I thought about that, and I said, you know, Medfield needs a young person yeah. who is very intelligent educationally, who is a good musician, and who participated in a music program of excellence. Right. And the name Richard Pearson came up. Okay. and. Uh, so I, I, I recommended Richard Pearson for the position, and uh, he was teaching in Walpole at the okay. time. Yeah. And uh, I, I knew of Richard's uh, background. His, his right. uh, musical experiences were uh, Foxborough High School, which Foxborough has a wonderful yes, music do. program. And I believe Richard went to Ohio State. I'm not sure, uh, but I, I think he did. Anyway, he came to Medfield, and he hired Doug Olson as the middle school teacher. Wow, there we and go. Doug is also from Foxborough. So I, I knew that when, when, when that was done, I, I, I knew Medfield was in good hands. You and know. they are. Uh, yes. They are and, really. But, you know, Richard has since moved on. Uh, he went back to Foxborough as vice principal. Right. Then he got the job where my grandchildren, some of my <laughs> grandchildren go to school. He was the principal of Medway High School. Okay. And now he's uh, one of the directors of the MIAA, the Athletic yep. Association. He just started this year. Right. So when he moved on, the, the person that naturally should ascend to the, the director of music position 
who had all the qualifications uh, uh, is Doug Olson. Right. And then Doug hired Ryan Dexter at the middle yes. school. Uh, you can't beat that one-two punch. I mean, that's, that's and a... Doug is doing a wonderful oh. job. Our, our musical program, as you well know, they're, they're very distinguished. The high school is really making great strides. You, you were right. You were in your plans. And your oh, uh, I, let, me, let me tell you. I, 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 Doug, I remember Doug as a student at Foxborough High School. <laughs> uh, Doug is one of the, still today, is one of the finest performers uh, that I know. Yeah, you know, he's a phenomenal jazz for, uh, performer. And I think that, that, that a good music educator uh, needs to have, needs to be a good performer right. so, so that you know, they can make the music happen. And they can identify with, with Exactly. Them. They yeah. know what it takes to get there. Yes. Uh, they have the ability to, to, to hear the music and, and know what's wrong with it and then yeah. have the ability to, to correct it. Right. And, and Doug has all of those, uh, certainly has all of those qualities. Uh, the, the thing that I'm, I'm most proud of uh, is that they have an all-encompassing program here uh, under Doug's leadership. Uh, you know, they, uh, they not only have a good elementary program where yeah. the classroom, where all the students uh, experience music, but they have a good, uh, very, very, very sound uh, instrumental uh, uh, right. program, not only band instruments, but string. Yes. And, and I always thought that, that a good music program not only has a good band, a good chorus, but a good string program as okay, well. Yeah. So they start the students uh, at the elementary level and, and then they evolve to uh, Ryan Dexter, who has all those groups right. at the middle school. Right. Uh, and here at the high school, uh, you know, they, they've hired a, a new choral teacher, I think, uh, about two years ago. Uh, the, the choral program is doing All well. All the pieces are coming together, really. The orchestra is doing well. Yeah. The concert band, I, I know I happen, to, I, I happen to have the privilege of judging uh, the, the state concert festival, which yes. is a very prestigious, very difficult festival for, uh, right. to achieve anything at. You know. Right. And uh, Doug brought his concert band there, and Ryan brought his middle school band there, <laughs> and both of them got a gold medal, I which is yes. a very, very high right. ach achievement. It very, speaks very highly, oh, speaks well. It, very, very much so. Yeah. So I, I was very, very proud of him, and, and we all know uh, what what Doug has done with the uh, with the jazz with ensemble, jazz particularly. Yes, uh, you yeah. know he's he he was the only school in Massachusetts to have his group uh, participated in the Ellington Festival in New York. So, uh, and, and beyond all of those things, just uh, the number of concerts he provides the students per year uh, and, the, and the literature, the, the amount of literature that he performs uh, uh, with, his, with his students uh, is, is certainly admirable. Well, the music legacy goes on in Mentville, I guess. It, well, uh, you know, we, it, it, it has reached a new level. It really has. It absolutely know. has. A, and, and so many students uh, should be thankful for that, you know, right. because uh, as, as I've But it's nice to have you reinforce that as, a, as somebody who's not in the program to come in and reinforce as to, you know, with your expertise from the outside to say, Medfield, you've got yourselves a good program well, here. And I, and I, was, I judged the... Uh, uh, the, uh, the Medfield Jazz Band, and right. Jazz Ensemble, in, in the state finals, and they got a gold medal as yes. well. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, and, and like I say, it meeting you, like you tremendously, but if you didn't perform up to a certain level, I wouldn't give you gold medal. Yes, so sure. Medfield had to perform right. uh, extremely well, and, and, and they did, and, right. and got a gold medal. So uh, th their groups... Uh, are are among the high achieving groups in the state. Right. Well, it's so nice of you to, to reinforce that, uh, and it kind of uh, it must give you a certain amount of pride knowing that at the very beginning you were saying this can be done, yep. and then the school committee saying, all right, let's give it a shot, and Tom Reeson, et cetera, to keep supporting your thoughts to get along to the, to get it to the point where we are today, where we do have, I guess, the fruition of some of what you were thinking about years ago and saying. You can do this. You know, Ed, to have a good music program, it, it all starts with 
the superintendent of schools. Right. You know, Tom Reese at the time was very supportive. I can't say enough about Bob McGuire. Yeah, you know, Bob and I go back many, many years. Uh, if the superintendent of schools doesn't support music, and sometimes, you know, as the superintendent of schools back in Norwood said to me one time, it's very lonely being a music director, being on top, because there are how many principals, there are how many teachers, right. there's only one director of music. Right. Right. So, and it, it, it's, it's extremely important that the superintendent of schools has the moral integrity to, to support music when maybe all of the the other people involved, right. some of the administrators, some of the teachers, don't do that. So uh, between does, yeah. Tom Reese and now Bob McGuire, I think they've done a wonderful job supporting uh, music, and, and the school committee has done a wonderful job here too supporting yeah, music. Yeah, we're very, we're very fortunate that we do have the school, a strong school committee, and, yeah. and certainly Bob McGuire, who's very supportive of all programs at Medville, and certainly the, the, the music program as well. Bob, Bob takes care of all aspects of he education. Really does. Wonderful yeah. superintendent. Well, Paul, I, I don't know what else you can tell us. You, you've been so interesting. Have you got any, any other thoughts that you want to be sure to share with us today? You've yeah. had a wonderful, wonderful life, my God. I, I, I can't be more thankful. You know, yeah. I, I have a, a, a wonderful wife, uh, wonderful children. I have nine grandchildren now. Oh, that's terrific. And, you know, it, it, living in Medfield has, uh, although I didn't spend a lot of time in Medfield. Well, you had a lot of, you were doing a lot of oh, things. Oh, yeah. I, you know, <laughs> I, I, I happen to, I, I think Medfield is a phenomenal community. Uh, I spent so many hours in Norwood. I used to go in at 7 o'clock in the morning, and at 10 o'clock at night, people would call me. Right. And I'd answer the phone at 10 o'clock at night, so... <laughs> You know, it, it, the, the dedication, the number of hours that you have to put in and persistency that you need to be a, a, a successful music educator, uh, it, it's certainly a taxing It's one. commitment. It's it? a commitment yeah. that, that very few people understand. So true. So yeah. true. You know. And so uh, I'm just, uh, I'm delighted that, you know, I, I got to spend many wonderful years in Norwood with great administrators. Uh, with great teachers. I had a wonderful staff, uh, wonderful parents. I had the top parents music association probably in this part of the country. They, their fundraising efforts were incredible. They, we, you know, in, in, in they can do this in Medfield. They have done it to some degree. Our groups in Norwood, just to name a few things, we toured Europe in 1972. Yes. Uh, nine, seven countries, you know, something like that. Uh, we 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 went to the Orange Bowl parade. I did remember reading that? Yes. Yeah, the Orange. And you Bowl were on went, TV. Right? Yep, we were on the national television. The Orange Bowl parade, which was a fun, an experience that the kids will never forget. I won't forget it, let alone the kids. Uh, we we've gone to uh, international music festivals. In yeah. we've gone to Bermuda two or three times. Yeah. You know, we we've done the. Uh, uh, Orlando thing, you know, brought the kids there yes. and they performed yeah. perform there. We've been to uh, national jazz ensemble competitions both in Orlando and in, in Branson, Missouri. Uh, so, you know, just to name a few things, those kind of things can, you have to have a good parents group right. to raise right. the funds, you know. Yeah. You have to have a group of dedicated students who can also raise funds and also their performance, they have to work at yeah. their performances, yeah. uh, performance ability to get, uh, so that the groups will succeed. Uh, the groups, uh, frankly, the, the groups that are gold medal groups have most of the students studying privately. Yeah. And, and I can't express to the Medfield students enough uh, that it makes Doug Olson's job and Ryan Dexter's job a heck of a lot easier if they improve as individual right. musicians. It just yeah. Gives them an opportunity to bring the group to 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 another level, so all of those things combined, I've been uh, I'm connected with some very good school systems now. Uh, I get to adjudicate. I get to, uh, you know, not only in the state but na uh, nationally, and uh, it it's 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 been a very very rewarding career. 
Well, it certainly has, and you've accomplished so much. And you know, I, I can only wish you many, many years of happy retirement, many years of more musical enjoyment, because I can see music is such a big part of your life, and it's yeah. it, it, you know, it, it is most of my life. And it life. continues to be. Yes, it, it does. Yeah. And it sounds like you have no plans of saying I'm going to park music for a while. <laughs> You're going to stay right. <laughs> my wife is trying to get me to. To, to slow down, and I have slowed down to some degree, but I think she'd like to see me slow down a little bit more <laughs> but for health reasons. But uh, yeah, as I said, say to the younger educators, you got to have that fire in the belly. Right. You got to have that fire in the belly, and and want to be a music educator, and know that your the second half of your day begins when the other teachers right. are leaving, yeah. begins at two thirty. You know. Right. So. Uh, that's that's been that's been a, a, a something that I've done all my life. So. Well, if you weren't so busy and and uh, committed to these other programs, I'd be asking you about the Medfield Community Band. Sounds like we need one. That'd be right up your alley. You know, <laughs> and, and I think there are enough people in Medfield, and and Medfield has a, a, a good reputation as a community yeah. to, to draw people from other communities, as the Norwood Band yeah. did. And, and, and I think that would be a, a wonderful musical experience for Metro. For our concerts in town in the summer, et cetera. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, you know, those who have concert bands go from one town to another. Right. Uh, you know, so it gives them a chance to make, earn a little money to pay for their music. And, and uh, so, you know, Midfield could certainly be a part of that. Well, know? who knows? Maybe that'll come in. Come out of this program. You never know. I, I would One more so. accomplishment we'll put down. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, Paul, thank you so much for being with me today. I really appreciate your time. And, Thanks and, for having me. Ed. And taking the time to share your story. It's, it's a wonderful story uh, coming all the way from your grandfather, from Italy, yeah. to where you are today. And the thousands, literally thousands of children who benefited from your, your knowledge and your patience and your teaching and, and they now have a total enjoyment of music, which is an important part of our life. And it'll never leave them. There's things that come and go, but music will be there forever, you know. It, it and, is. And music a is a lifelong job. experience. It really is. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my guest today. I think he's a fantastic person, and I'm sure you have to agree uh, what a contribution he's made to our, to our society and to the folks around here in Norwood and Medfield and uh, helping so many young children uh, gain an appreciation for music that, that we can keep with us as long as we live. So thanks again, Paul, for being with us today. Thanks, thank sir. you for sharing your story. It certainly is a wonderful one. And thank you for watching. And thank you, Jim, for our, our photography today, our cameraman. Thank you, Aditi, our executive director, for arranging this program. Hong, who's going to do the editing for us. And thank you again for watching. And uh, So until next time, this is Ed Doherty and asking you to be, please take care of each other. Thanks again. Nice yeah. job, Paul. Very good. This program was made possible through the generous support of your Medfield friends and neighbors, folks just like you. And thanks for watching.